Bowl 14 with the L.A. Rams. After his playing days, he went after the bad guys as a star in the show Hunter. Please welcome Fred Dreyer! Such a great man. He's Good a man. You know what's funny? This year I did a show called The Agency on CBS, yeah. Yeah. and they were promoting the heck out of it. Tom Arnold's on the show, and then we went up against the old Hunter reunion movie, and nobody watched our show. Exactly. How does that feel? <laughs> now, I didn't see the Hunter. I loved Hunter in the 80s. Hunter 2003, is it different because everybody's a little older? Are you in a wheelchair now? I mean, how do they, <laughs> it's like iron sides? What are they? I got a cap gun now. <laughs> they, won't shoot anybody. they won't let you shoot anybody. No, it's, it's, we moved to San Diego uh, for creative reasons and uh, certainly production reasons, but... Uh, they brought the show back, and they, it's a 12-year-old show, and uh, they had it uh, down to bring it back for two movies last summer. They did. It did real well. They yeah. brought it back for five, and uh, April 12th, it kicked off with a two-hour movie, and now we're in the middle of our third, uh, I think the third show is tomorrow night at 8 o'clock on NBC. Yep. And uh, we'll see what happens. It's good, man. You could see. You look like you'd still be up Michael Irvin, I'll tell you yeah. that right now. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. could. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. These guys are too young and fast nowadays. Well, Michael's not fighting. Michael's not fighting. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've, learned. I've, learned. It's all over I've, I've learned from the white folks. I'm taking people to court. <laughs> <laughs> None of this fist stuff. You take them to court. You take them to court. Let's talk about football. Uh, did you watch the Super Bowl this year? Yeah, sure. See Tampa Bay. They yeah. won the Super Bowl. Some great defense. And, and then, of course, Warren Sapp. I love Warren. Yep. They talk, start talking about the, one of the greatest defense ever. Do you believe? No. You not don't ever. believe? Good. You're Very not good. believing that? Not ever. Too many good ones in the past that people have forgotten about. Like? Yeah. Rams had a pretty good one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, they did. Yeah, they did. I don't last one. Yeah, they did. Look, you were pretty good. Yeah, you yeah. played with some great ones. Hall of Famer and Jack yeah, Youngblood lined right. up on Marlon that Wilson, line. Not bad. Marlon Wilson, good. Yeah, pretty good. Yeah. I mean, uh, I mean, do you consider yourselves one of the best? Be honest here. Better than the Steel Curtain? Uh, well, no, listen, I, I think, I think uh, 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 the championships uh, really, I think, uh, uh, allow teams to live beyond, like television shows, beyond the reality of, of uh, when you play. And uh, I think that uh, if, if the Rams had won some Super Bowls, maybe we'd have been considered. But uh, the way it is now, Tampa wins. they got a great defense. They got there because of their defense. And... Uh, uh, they're terrific, and they'll be remembered for that defense. Yeah, everybody, oh, so many guys from your team got their own shows. Remember, uh, Myrtle also was Father Murphy. That's right. Yeah, that's right. And uh, yeah, that was great. Hey, let me. Who is the who is the best uh, who is the best you played with and against, if you don't mind asking? Uh, well, uh, let's see. Offensively, there were great players. Uh, Dallas had a lot of great players in those days. Staubach, I thought, was, a, was one of the best the quarterbacks I ever played against. Uh, I think his Namath and Staubach were the two best. Terry Bradshaw was terrific. Yeah. Uh, those three were probably the best quarterbacks I ever played against. Uh, offensive lineman, Art Shell, Charlie Cowan. Uh, there was a guy in uh, Philadelphia for a while, uh, uh, Stan Walter, that I thought was very good. But there's just there's different guys around the league. Uh, I played 13 years from 69 to 81. So I was before ESPN. I was before a lot of Fox uh, shows, and and, and uh, uh, I got to see a lot of people who, a lot of people don't remember that were pretty damn good. Okay, okay so you saying you were before all this TV stuff yeah. came in play. Now we got a lot of eccentric players now. Guys like, you know, guys that like to do a lot of extra things, like the TOs and the Randys mm -hmm. and Randy Mosses and everything. Since you were before the big TV time, which guys played with you that were just crazy? Well, I was one of them. Yeah. Well, right. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll get that straight right now. But uh, there was a lot of guys that were Jack uh, Hacksaw Reynolds. Remember Jack? Yeah, of course Reynolds? I do. Yeah. Remember yeah. Hacksaw? Fine middle no. linebacker. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty young crowd out there. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> but there were some guys out there that were, uh, that were pretty damn good and pretty uh, uh, on the edge every Sunday, and, and it, which, which hasn't changed. I mean, just because, you know, we were in the year 2003 does not mean football was different than it was in 1981, 82 when I left uh, or when you were playing. Uh, and when you played, you played, right? I played high school, Tomo High. That's right, it's the same. Yeah, just the same. <laughs> exactly the same. So uh, uh, the game hasn't changed. Uh, the people, uh, you know, come and go. And uh, But for the most part, uh, uh, the great players uh, leave their mark, and no matter what era they played in, and they were just as valuable then as they are today. And uh, that's why we revere them. That's why we have football cards and jerseys, and everybody's wearing your jersey, I see. Well, I don't, I don't know. I'm, I'm, well, getting, I'm not getting any money from it. Now. Yeah. <laughs> right. There's a dude down there. Well, hey, well, they, but well, it was well, a great guy before me, and I took his jersey. That's right. That's so right. that's just how Dallas is. So you get to see that, Drew too. Drew Pearson. Right. Great player. Do anybody remember Drew Pearson? No, I do. I do. There you go. 
Very good. Fred, who, who was the biggest snot bubble and hit you ever saw? I mean, who? what was the biggest hit in your playing days? You ever? Is there one hit that you remember? Uh, Dick Butkus at Yankee Stadium in 1969 on Tucker Fredrickson. Tucker is still in Yankee Stadium right now. <laughs> and that wasn't even during a football game. That was during a Yankees game up in the stands. No. The Giants used to play in Yankee Stadium. When right. I was 23 years old, I was drafted by the Giants out of San Diego State, and I got to play in Yankee Stadium at the age of 23. <laughs> My locker mate uh, was uh, Mel Stoppelmeyer. And uh, oh, it, 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 was a, yeah. it was one of the biggest thrills of my life. It still is the best thrill of my life, running out of that first base that I got where Mickey Mantle and all these guys sat. Matter of fact, Mickey Mantle used to come around uh, that year. At 69, he retired my first year at the Giants and had a big day for him. I went to that and met everybody. Met all the great Yankees and met all the great ex-Giants, Frank Gifford and... Uh, Andy Robustelli, all those guys. It was the biggest thrill of my life, and today it ranks as one of the biggest thrills of my life. we got much more coming your way with Fred Dreyer. We're actually going to talk about the players from this century, so it'll be fun. We'll ask you what would have happened if he had been a teammate of Randy Moss. Much more with Fred Dreyer in two minutes.